Hey, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the Sanran Mu, the SRM series knife, the 1006 with 14C28N. Go figure. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Ooh, we got a mirror little edge on there. We've been getting that on these SRM knives. San Ran Mu. Oh yes, these exotic, expensive, custom-made beauties. Okay, I'm full of crap. Yes, they're just a budget knife. Made in China by San Ran Mu. This is their nice little SRM series they got on going on and man such a nice action but if you remember and i'll give you a link to my previous review on the srm knives the 1005 hello the 1005 that has 9 cr 14 mov steel on it looks like the lion steel sr1 can't tell them apart except oh this is like 30 bucks and theirs are like 200 but other than that <laughs> you know whatever it's so ridiculous in any case get the panties in a bunch you can switch it right to left hand side lanyard holes that kind of thing well what can you do here yeah switch it right to left hand side lanyard hole Full length uh, backspacer in G10. The lockout function here that keeps you from being able to disengage the blade. Wow. These have got just regular bearings. They're not like a roller bearing like you get on some of the real steel knives. Which is, this is the T101 with 14C28N. Only this is like 58 bucks, right? Okay. So all of a sudden... I guess SRM, which is part of Real Steel, is competing against themselves in that way. Because these are like maybe 40 bucks, so about 15 to 20 dollars less money. And big old thick G10 scales. Look at that kind of maroon and tan and black, grippy, contoured, kind of wavy pattern on here. And like I said, Right and left hand, you can adjust this for the deep carry clip, glass breaker on the end. All these have, this is the black on black. Same deal. Yeah. And the pass through. Very easy to get through. Jimping here. Disengagement, real easy. Drop, real good. Jimping on the flipper tab. Yes. Like I said, the lockout. There's your stop pin. This is different though. You go, whoa, 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 105, 106. But you see the difference in the blade shape? Other than that, we're really pretty much talking about the same knife. Other than 9CR14 MOV, 14C28N. Wow. Eight dollars less expensive, eight dollars more expensive than this one. So, you know, but there's been people talking about this one. Oh, cool. I really love it, but I would like a little bit better steel. Some other people have been really buying these and loving them because heck with it. It's going to be a user beater. It's going to be, but it's attractive. And it feels good in the hand. And they are thick, easy to grip. The ergos are wonderful on this. And it goes for this too, right? Reverse grip, great. No hot spots. Goes in and out of the pocket really good. Look at this big old dip. <laughs> A little bit like the ZT. What is that? Is it the 350 or something? But, you know, this is not... A ZT knife, I mean, in your dreams, uh, or strange uh, apparitions, but no. So, but it's got a different looking blade. But they're, a, you know, they're a beefy knife. 
and it's about three and five eighths, so about 93 uh, millimeters, uh, eight and an eighth overall length, and not quite, well, close to 21 centimeters. So about the same size as, where are you, Rex? Get over here. Same size as Rex. Rex is about an eighth of an inch longer overall. But a whole lot lighter. But a whole lot more expensive. So, I mean, if you're doing some heavy duty stuff, I'll tell you what, this in the hand, this fills your hand. And I'll tell you what, these things, they are sharp right out of the box. I mean, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Look at that edge on there. That's ridiculous. It's stupid. That's that's the way they've been coming on the the 1005s too. Like that. That kind of the mirror polished looking edge. That's insane. Who does that? Here's the other 1005, right? It's crazy. But they're well made. Bearings drop centered no lock rock no blade plate nice steel liners and yeah they've been skeletonized top and bottom for weight relief so they only weigh what do you think an ounce and a half two ounces anybody saying more than two ounces i'm joking of course you know that right six ounces 6.2 Come on. Ah, 6.5. Yeah, I knew it was at least six all day long. 185 grams. So, are I saying these are the delicate ballerina of the ball? No, they are not. These are heavy use, heavy use knives. Well, let's bring it back. Hold on. Okay, let's throw the 105 on here just for jollies. 181 grams. So... 6.4, okay, the Thor T101, 5.1, yeah, okay, I get you. Interesting, different blade design and stuff. This is lighter by an ounce and some, and some, see what I'm saying? So, that's cool. Oh, what was I going to throw in here? Yeah, and talk about SRM. The San Ranmu 1161 is also 14C28N. All steel, lockout. See my review on this one? I mean, to tell you the truth, this one is also heavily weight relieved inside. 33 bucks on AliExpress. Same company, same maker, everything. Incredible action. Whew. Somebody's making some good knives. We got some good budget knives here. I'm excited about them. But yeah. If you can't find these for sale, contact me. I can get them for you. Uh, I don't understand why the other people are not listing these, but little by little they will be. These are fairly new on the scene, but you'll see them at other retailers. Uh, hopefully um, White Mountain Knives. We'll get some more of these. They got some SRM knives already. So I'll ask Justin if he's aware of these. See if he wants to carry them. Then you can get 10% off with your LTK discount. So whatever these might be. And I don't know what the retail retail is. Because I haven't seen any listed. But I would think they're going to be... You know, this being $58. i am thinking these will be under $45. So, really fascinating, different blade design. Wow. And fat boys, you know. 18.2, it's 0.71, like I said. And then the blade stock, eh, probably four millimeter. What do you want to bet? Real close, real close. So, but you got the lockout. Really easy pass through, really full in the hand. Ergos are good, action's good. 
no blade play, no lock rock, deep carry pocket clip. You can switch right or left handed and the uh, glass breaker on the end. Full length G10 backspacer to keep things from coming through and impacting the edge of the blade. So it protects that really well and makes it nice and heavy. They probably put lead in the inside of this thing. Just to, nah, just kidding you, but hey, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Easy landing pad for your fingers. Uh, the detent's not super strong. Four and a half to a five, somewhere in there. So, but man, lazy flip, easy going. Easy going. Click. Nice design. Don't see the back of the blade. The lines flow. Like I said, lanyard hole. I mean, it kind of comes with everything, right? What, what are we missing other than it's not light and it's not short and it's not small? It's not. It's not meant to be, but it's it's not overly long. Same size as the paramilitary too. Yeah, a lot thicker in the hand. Weighs a lot more. But, I mean, this is a knife. You get on a pair of gloves, you can go all day on this thing. I just think they're really cool for the, for the dollar amount. I mean, they're even beating things like Best Tech. These are 50 52 bucks. the Paladin. So, I mean, these are a lot less expensive. Now, this is D2. This is a Sandvik. So, I mean, how you want to deal with that, I don't know. But these are really cool knives. SRM, what are they doing? They're competing with themselves, right? They're competing with real steel. Because um, this is the same stuff, kind of, as far as I'm concerned. So, oh well. Uh, you got choices now, right? And uh, I think they're just ultra cool. I mean, they're just so easy to grab and carry. They fill the hand. They're so usable. They're sharp. Really nice edge out of the box. Well ground. I mean, the, uh, the fit and finish is great, and they're so versatile, right? Left hand, you know, like I said, deep carry, lanyard hole, full length backspacer, easy to disengage, skeletonized uh, liners. Whew. Cool. All the way around. Hey, I'm going to let you go, Flanagan. What? Let's say goodbye to all our viewers out there. I don't know. I'm jonesing over these SRM things. They're really cool. Not to mention, where did this come from? Sanran Mu. Who'd have known? <laughs> it's getting crazy. Love the budget knife, Ben. It's, it's just great. It's just, I get a big kick out of it. I know you're kind of like probably laughing at me, but I get a big kick out of it. I mean, this SRM stuff, what's going on here? We got this. <laughs> Can you tell? Can you tell the same manufacturer? It's crazy, huh? Yeah. And the 105s. 05s, 06s. You can go to the Real Steel line. The 1161 Sanran Moo. Any of the Sanran Moos. And then you can get into the Rakes if you want. P121, 14C, 28N Sandvik as well. Really cool knives, I believe, made exactly in the same production facility. Are you there, buddy? All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you alone, finally. Take care, friends. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.